chapter 15. Sound. This video is brought to you by Ace with Dennis. Now, learning can be smart, not hard. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification button to stop missing out free lessons from me. Nature of sound Sound is produced by vibrating source in a medium. Examples are tuning fork and guitar string. Sound waves is a longitudinal wave. The particles vibrate in the same direction as the direction of propagation of the sound wave. The vibration creates a series of compressions and rarefactions of particles in the medium. When sound wave travels in air, the air pressure in compression regions is higher than the surrounding air pressure. On the other hand, the air pressure in rarefaction region is lower than the surrounding air pressure. So this diagram illustrates how sound wave is produced. So these are compressions and these are rarefaction. We can actually split these into equal windows. Then we can plot the waveform for this sound. You take the center of each compression as the peak and the center of rarefaction as the minimum point or the true. Then we join these points together and becomes the waveform for the sound wave. So this is the amplitude and this is the wavelength. Sound wave is produced by vibrating by vibration of medium particles. Hence, it cannot travel in vacuum. Let's discuss about Belgia experiment. This is a setup for the Belgia experiment. When the electric bell is turned on, the ringing sound of the bell can be heard. When the vacuum pump is turned on, the ringing sound is getting softer and eventually no sound is heard. The reason for this is, when vacuum pump is turned on, the air in the bell jar is pumped out gradually. The air in the bell jar is getting lesser. Sound wave produced by the vibrating bell has less medium to travel. Hence, the ringing sound is getting softer. When the air in the bell jar is pumped out completely, sound wave has no medium to propagate. Hence, no sound is heard. The conclusion we can make from this experiment is sound waves need a medium to travel. Properties of sound Sound travels at different speeds in different medium. In general, sound travels the slowest in gas, faster in liquids, and the fastest in solids. The distance between particles determines the speed of sound. The molecules in gas are further apart with each other, while the molecules in solid are closest to each other. The speed of sound in air is about 330 meters per second. The speed of sound in air can be influenced by physical conditions like temperature and humidity. The rate of collision between gas particles increases with temperature. Hence, the speed of sound increases when the temperature increases. The speed of sound can be calculated with the following formula. Speed v equals distance traveled d over total time taken t. Now, let's look at this example. Two boys, boy A and boy B, stand at a distance d apart from each other on an open field. Boy A fires the pistol in the air and Boy B starts the stopwatch when he sees the flash from the pistol. When he hears the firing sound from the pistol, he immediately stops the stopwatch and records the time taken by the sound to travel from point A to point B. A. 
calculate the speed of the sound when D is 800 meters and the time recorded is 2.5 seconds. B. State one problem they will face if the distance between them is 100 meters. You can pause the video and try to answer yourself. Now let's look at the solution. B equals to D over T. For this case, our D is 800 meters, the time is 2.5, and we get the speed is 320 meters per second. So for B, the time is D over V. If the distance is 100 meters and the speed is 320 meters per second, we get the time is 0.3125 seconds. The time taken is too short for boy B to start and stop the stopwatch. Hence, they will face the problem. Pitch and loudness of sound. The pitch of a sound is related to the frequency of the sound wave. The higher the frequency, the higher the pitch. The loudness of sound is related to the amplitude of the sound wave. The greater the amplitude, the louder the sound. Let's look at these four waveforms. Can you identify the pitch and the loudness of this wave? Now, let's look at the first one. It is loud and low pitch. The reason is it has large amplitude and low frequency. The second waveform is loud and high pitch because it has large amplitude and high frequency. The third one is soft and low pitch because it has smaller amplitude and low frequency. The third one is soft and high pitch because it has low amplitude and high frequency. Application of sound. When sound hits a surface, part of the sound is reflected and the rest is absorbed. The reflected sound is known as echo. Echo can be used to determine the distance between two locations. Audible sound is sound that can be heard by human. An average person can hear sound for frequency between 20 Hz to 20 kHz. Ultrasound is high frequency sound that exceeds the upper limit of normal human hearing, which is 20 kHz. Some animals can hear ultrasounds like dogs, cats, dolphins, and bats. Some animals detect obstacles and locate objects by emitting ultrasound and interpreting the echo that is reflected from objects, for example, bats and dolphins. This technique is known as echo location. Ultrasound can be used in prenatal screening. The transmitter sends ultrasound pulse into the body and measures the time taken for echoes to reflect back. This method is non-intrusive and safe to use by doctors to examine the de development of a fetus in a mother's womb. So this is the diagram showing how this screening works. And we can see the image formed by the ultrasound. Ultrasound is used to check cracks and other structural flaws in construction. A machine sends ultrasound waves into a material. If there is a crack or cavity, the wave will be reflected and detected by the machine. So this is the diagram illustrates how it works. This is a concrete slab. The emitter will send ultrasound. When the ultrasound hits a crack, it is reflected and received by the detector. Ultrasound is also used to detect school of fish in the deep seas by fishing boats. Let's look at this example. Ultrasound is sent into the deep sea by the fishing boats and a school of fish is detected. Ultrasound is reflected back to the fishing boats. 
It is known that the speed of sound in water is about 1480 meters per second. If the fishing boat receives the echo 0.8 seconds after the sound pulse is produced, calculate the depth of water where the school of fish can be found. You can pause the video and try to calculate yourself. Now let's look at the solution. So for this case, V equals to 2D per T. The reason is because the ultrasound needs to travel to and back. So the distance is 2 times. Hence, D is V T over 2. For this case, it is 1480 times 0 0.8 divided by 2. And we get the depth is 592 meters. If the frequency of the ultrasound is 35 kilohertz, calculate the wave length of the wave. So we know that V equals to F lambda. Lambda is V over F. Hence, for this case, it's 1480 divided by 35,000. We get 0 0.423 meters. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Do you have any question or doubts to ask? Feel free to write down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Do you like this video? Please don't forget to like it and share it. Alternatively, you can also enroll this full revision course at Udemy. At Udemy, you can track your learning more effectively, download my notes in printable PDF form, take a summative quiz at the end of each chapter, get your first-hand updated contents from me, get quicker response from me, and many more. You can get all these benefits at a very affordable price. It is one-time payment, no recurring fees, no hidden costs. This saves you thousands of dollars on expensive tuition fees and revision crash courses. And most importantly, your precious time. Finally, you can do your revision anytime you like, anywhere you prefer. All is available within your fingertips. Check out the description below this video and click on the enrollment link to register the course at discounted price. Alright, until then, see you in the next video. Have a great day ahead.